In the land of the pharaohs, mummified remains continue to reveal secrets, not through inscriptions or relics, but through scent. <laughs> At the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, researchers are capturing and analyzing the very air sealed inside ancient sarcophagi to unlock the aromas of mummified bodies that have endured for millennia. In this study, we analyzed the smell of nine mummified bodies in Cairo, along with an, a group of scientists and conservators and archaeologists to try to understand more about the process of mummification, of embalming, and the history of this very important heritage. Leading this pioneering work is Dr. Cecilia Bembibre from University College London, working in collaboration with the University of Ljubljana. Our nose is a fantastic tool to learn more about the past. So we decided to explore this idea of a nose as a diagnostic tool in the case of mummified bodies. By carefully inserting instruments into the sarcophagi, the team collected 10 liters of ancient air, capturing the volatile compounds responsible for the mummy's distinctive odors. Here I have 10, 10 liters of air, and now we're going to gently heat it and perform um, an analysis through gas chromatography mass spectrometry, which is basically a, a technique that enables us to separate each of the volatile organic compounds or chemicals that are responsible for the overall smell and identify them and describe them. Once captured, the air is drawn through specialized tubes, then gently heated and analyzed using gas chromatography mass spectrometry, a technique that isolates each chemical compound contributing to the smell. After we took the sample of air, we bring it to the laboratory, and this is a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. Basically, it enables us to separate each of the chemicals present in that air and identify them chemically but also it allows us to experience the smells as humans and describe the quality, so the fresh, musty, green, etc., how pleasant they are and how weak or strong they are. The separated aromas are then smelled by human analysts trained to detect and describe scent notes such as freshness, sweetness, mustiness, and intensity. We work with human analysts who smell the volumes of air that we capture from inside the sarcophagus and describe their smells. So some of these smells were um, sweet, woody, resin-like, uh, some of them even tea-like, so they smell like black tea. And this is how we trained our noses. We smelled all of the materials in order to sharpen our descriptions. Each sample tells a story. From woody and resin-like scents to sweet, tea-like notes, the aromas help researchers better understand the embalming process. This study helps us understand the embalming process and materials used a little bit better. We found uh, smells corresponding to plant oils, such as cedar and juniper, for example. We also found a lot of um, chemicals indicating resins, like frankincense and myrrh. We found spices, such as cinnamon, for example, and the smells of wood and deteriorating wood as well. And this helps us understand better what kind of materials were used and how some of them have reached us thousands of years later. The study revealed smells from cedar and juniper oils, as well as frankincense, myrrh, and spices like cinnamon, all once used to honor the dead and preserve their bodies. One of the innovative contributions of this study is to the emerging field of olfactory heritage. And this studies how, using our nose, we can learn more about history and heritage. We can communicate the significance of our heritage better. 
This involves using um, cutting edge science, heritage science, artificial intelligence to find references to smells in the past and also working with perfumers and scientists to bring back these smells so people can experience them in museums and develop a personal emotional connection with heritage. This novel approach, non-invasive and non-destructive, ensures ancient remains are preserved while allowing researchers to decode their past. Now, museums could bring these scents to life, creating immersive experiences that connect visitors with history, not just visually, but emotionally and sensorially. Uh, okay. In ancient Egypt, scent was sacred. And thanks to modern science, it's helping us breathe new life into the past.